Everyone knows at this point that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise has way too many continuities to keep track of. However, there's only one sequel where the original film's director, Toby Hooper, actually returned to direct. And that's none other than the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. The film managed to have way more satire and black humor than the original film, however, so a lot of fans were put off by it. And despite that, most fans agreed that Bill Moseley's character Chop Top is one of the greatest villains of the entire franchise. At first, Chop Top was intended to be the same character as the Hitchhiker from the original film, but as the screenplay for Part 2 continued to be rewritten, they decided he should be his own character. And at first, they actually named him Platehead, and Platehead eventually became Chop Top, as the final film calls him. In order to cast Chop Top, uh, director Toby Hooper actually picked Bill Moseley because of a short film he had done years prior called Texas Chainsaw Manicure. It was a parody of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and Toby Hooper was so impressed that he told Bill, If I ever do a sequel, I'll call you. Bill didn't take him seriously at the time, but uh, apparently Toby Hooper wasn't kidding. Uh, they explained his absence in the original film by saying that he was in the Vietnam War, that he had been drafted, and at some point injured from a machete wound in the head, hence why he has the plate. And because of this, he was sent home and apparently was paid with enough money that the family was able to buy an entire amusement park and start their own food truck business. So obviously it's not the most logical chain of events, but compared to some of the other sequels, at least they tried to explain something. Eventually by the end of the film, it looks like Chop Top is killed. However, that's not exactly the case. Toby Hooper's son, William Hooper, actually shot his own sequel slash prequel titled All American Massacre. The film has a wraparound featuring Bill Moseley reprising his role as Chop Top, and he actually tells the story of his family set before the events of the original film or the second film. Unfortunately, it was an unofficial production and it was never properly finished, so it has not been released to the public, at least as of this video. But the story sounds really cool and I hope that one day it does surface. Apparently, Chop Top is in a mental asylum where he's being interviewed by a documentary film crew. And while he's telling them the story of his life and his family, he apparently stages a, a new massacre in the mental asylum and I assume escapes. Um, I'm not sure, but based on, you know, the little hints and teases I've seen over the years, that sounds like what happens. So that's a pretty cool uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. If uh, you know, fans that want to ignore everything after part two, so hopefully it surfaces sometime. As for the cast of All American Massacre, while Bill Mosley reprises his role as Chop Top for the wraparounds, they had Todd Bates play a younger version of Chop Top for the flashbacks, and Todd Bates also doubled as the hitchhiker, aka Nubbins, who is Chop Top's twin brother. So who knows, maybe Chop Top will come back one day. Until then, We'll just have to see what happens and hope All American Massacre surfaces. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe, and as always, obey the brain.